and welcome back to marriage or hell no nah. happy friday out there fellas much love to all the people who be tuned in to the channel liking the video subscribing to the channel i appreciate all the love and support now on this friday we're going to be talking about none other than the little homie who was out here looking fresh and fly and that would be young Bronny james shout out to peyton as well but apparently everybody's up in arms about this so we're going to take a deep dive into this story find out a little bit more information and then see what the haters got to say or at least try to figure out why they hating so much without further ado let's get straight into the story now this story comes over to us from the daily mail lebron james 17 year old son Bronny, is trolled with vile racist remarks because i don't think i could say that word here on youtube for taking a white girl to his high school prom after sharing photos of the couple heading to the event in a custom three hundred and twenty six thousand dollar mercedes people just need some business that's all that is let's keep reading from right here lebron raymond i hope i'm saying that correctly Bronny James Jr., the eldest son of the basketball legend, shared a series of images of himself and his prom date on Instagram on Wednesday, prompting bitter, absolutely critical word, bitter backlash and racist criticism from trolls who made cruel comments about his choice of companion for the evening. Bronny attended the school dance this past weekend with one of his classmates teenager Peyton I'm not gonna mess her last name up however some people on the internet were not happy about his decision to take someone who is quote unquote light-skinned to the prom and social media was soon flooded with a slew of nasty comments about the parent people just really need to find something to do with their lives let me ask you a question why would grown ass people be sitting up here worried about what a 17 year old is doing with his life the answer is because these people are worried about money and i'm going to talk about that a little bit later on in this video not a light-skinned woman already one person wrote while another one added well on the brighter side lebron has more kids maybe they'll do better that's ridiculous first of all half of these bitter trolls cannot do better than this now look at the man. The man appears to be happy and they just mad cause she look good. Shit, I like blondies too. I'm right there with you, Bronnie. You go, do your thing, player. Just mad cause she fine. Look at the couple, man. They appear to be happy doing this thing. You go, Bronnie, man, forget these haters. Oh, look at the freshy. Look at the swagito. That's a nice picture right there. All studded out Mercedes Benz AMG GT Coupe with a Batmobile look. Oh man, that's fresh. Look at those wheels. Just mad because they ain't never seen a vehicle like that. To be fair, I haven't either. So let's just keep it all the way real. But if I could, and I could do that for my boy, please, I would do it for my boy in a second. Now, let's see what these hating ass trolls got to say. That girl is whiter than white, bruh, said someone else. A fourth tweet read, should have got a black queen like his dad with the angry face emoji. Hold up. Stop the video. How is he going to do that? These people have no sense of reality. The young man goes to Sierra Canyon. To play basketball if you know anything about these schools these schools cost anywhere from 40 to sixty thousand dollars a year to attend so therefore he might not see a lot of black women at these schools and just in case you didn't know let me further elaborate when you got schools like sierra canyon um oak hill academy what's the one in texas beaumont um img the other one down in florida uh, Mount Verde, these schools are not flooded with a lot of black women. So if LeBron and Savannah, a married couple, position their kid to be successful in life, to choose a woman who happens to be around him, this is his choice. I don't understand what the problem is. 
They just mad because she's smiling and she looked better than them. My point exactly. I am willing to bet you that there is a 75 to 85 percent chance that young Peyton here has both family members in her life and more than likely they married. So what is the child supposed to do? Go driving around Los Angeles until he finds a black woman that qualifies for what he wants in a woman? That's ridiculous. He's going to go with a woman who happens to be around him. And instead of getting mad at him, the question should be, what are you doing to make sure that your daughter is in a position to meet someone like Bronny James? That should be the question, but we already know the answer. You ain't doing nothing. Lost another black king to a money hungry white girl. A different Twitter user tweeted, Braun gotta do better, shaking my head. <laughs> these, these comments are really crazy to read. Someone else branded her a gold digger, quoting the lyrics from the song Gold Digger by Kanye West, while others simply shared gifts and memes showcasing their disappointment in his choice of date. Other people defended the budding basketball star with one writing, Bronny James really has grown adults and shambles over the fact that he took a white girl to prom in 2022. That is a great quote. And let me further expand upon that. In a lot of my videos, I talk about that I live in the city of Atlanta. But one thing that you would be very shocked to find out is when I step outside of my place, I don't see a whole bunch of black women. Let me just be real to you. The only time I see black women may be on Friday or Saturday or the Sunday on the weekend when they're going to like the Beltline or they're going to the park. But if I'm over there on Peachtree Street walking around with my dog or just getting some exercise, you know, going out with friends around here, I'm not going to see a whole bunch of black women. And that's the reality. And I live in the city of Atlanta. So I don't understand what people are thinking. Men are going to choose the type of women that are around them and the type of women that make themselves available to that type of man. You go, Bronny. Forget what these haters got to say. Anyone that's mad at Bronny's prom date, you are part of the problem in today's society, agreed someone else. Now, instead of reading these Twitter comments, let's go over to Twitter and really see what the people got to say. <laughs> I must say this. Y'all are so damn funny, man. I will say that. So it looks like Savannah chimed in to big up her son because her son was looking good. Looking extra fresh and happy, most of all. So she wrote, so at Bronnie went to the prom this past weekend. Tons of emotions and realizations. Time really flies. So proud of you, young man. I will always have your front and your back. <laughs> and it looks like the daughter is processing all of this too. Y'all are too damn funny. Let's see what these haters got to say. Big mistake that LBJ let his son using his money like this. Let the boy get heart pause first and understand what life is about. I don't know what the hell that got to do with anything. Y'all are something else. <laughs> y'all are just way too damn funny wow the comments hate he's with a white girl and those people need therapy amen those people definitely need therapy holy shit <laughs> i know he ain't got nothing to say about this well more than likely he probably got something to say about this let's go check it out you know i already got it pulled up <laughs> Oh my God, man. Oh my God. And before I read his comments, I will say this. As a fairly conservative black male, you know, I tend to be in the middle, but, you know, I can appreciate what this brother does. You know, um, I think he definitely has a good message, but <laughs> sometimes he may stick his nose in the places that it doesn't need to be. Um, he tends to rub people the wrong way. It's just his East Coast approach. But I really got no problem with this brother because I do understand what he's really trying to say here. His message to me comes across as being about a simple equation. C 
community dynamics plus community organization equals community commerce. I really think that that's the equation that he really tries to live by. And let me say that again for some of you people who have missed it. Community dynamics plus community organization equals community commerce. And I do think that that's his message. But like I said, I ain't got no problem with the brother. But do I think that he is a little outspoken too many times? I will say that. So let's see what he got to say. Flager foul number two on LeBron James. You're out of here. <laughs> Flager foul number two on LeBron James. You're out of here for letting Brody take a snow buddy to the prom. I mean, Jesus, bro. That's like kind of harsh language. Did Savannah sign off on this mess too? Dr. Umar will be in LA this weekend. Y'all need a sit down. <laughs> Oh, man, this guy is hilarious, man. Now, I also have this article pulled up. I mean, pardon the ads all over the place. This is just his website. But as you can see, Peyton has parents, parents. And I figured her parents were married because that's what you would want your son to do. Now, in closing, let me just add this point in here. Stop being mad that this young man decided to take a woman that he's attracted to a woman that obviously connects with the man gets the man to the prom and instead of being mad at him ask yourself the question why is your daughter not at the school available to position herself to meeting somebody like Bronny james and until you answer that question I don't want to hear shit out your mouth. And salute to you, Bronny. This is Marriage or Hell Nah signing off. And we'll see you haters back on Monday. Until next time, fellas. Be easy. Peace.